Simply not logical and bananas must compute. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I quit. Where you put in keywords into an AI artificial intelligence image generator. It's like a computer that generates a picture based on words that you give it. And the results are cursed. <laughs> do nail art based on what the AI generated, what the robot wants me to do. Like wall E meets Salvador Deli. I don't get it. But like why wall? I don't know what wall is. <laughs> I don't know that wall E is a robot movie. I know Salvador Deli, <laughs> but this requires that you know two things. I only know one of them. Do not hate me for not knowing every movie. Thought I'd start with this. The prompt was Canada Day nail art for this one. There's clearly nails. There are some hands with six fingers. This is four fingers. It's like they take a bunch of pictures and then average them out, if that makes any sense in like a 2D dimensional. Uh-oh. Simply now logical and bananas. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I quit. Goodbye. Am I eating the banana or is it eating me? Look at the uh, the deleted scenes of Troom Troom. It's this. Am I gonna get demonetized for this? Susan, I swear it was just the machines. This We're just doing machine learning, okay? What? So all I did was I took out the space and now it knows that it's about nails. This is the horror game that I'm gonna play next. 10 cursed banana hacks that you've never seen before. One of those look suspiciously like Ben. This one, yeah, why is this Ben? Okay, this is 100 layers of nail polish. They don't understand that humans are so stupid that we actually meant to layer them nail polish by nail polish on the same nail, not 100 bottles of nail polish. Nail polish at Subway? No, no, why? <laughs> Yo, the nails are lettuce. The nails are ketchup. Do not eat modern art cat. Those are beautiful. Like so far we've seen just the computer's like confused. The computer's drunk, it's confused. It's just blurring images together. But modern art cat yields some really beautiful pics. Like this is so good. Menti, what do you think? What about modern art dog? Okay, this is modern art dog. That's pretty good. The cats are better, just saying. I'll just do straight up hollow taco. Let's see if it knows. This is hollow taco. First of all, it knows its nails with the words hollow and taco, which do not suggest nails at all. So thank you, Google. It's mostly blue purple with some teal. It's calling me out for what shades we sell the most of. I mean, like this purple, is pro this is the average. And we already know this information that when you mix all the hollow taco shades, you're gonna get a dark purple. So I'm validating this AI search result right now. S some of them kind of look like shades that we haven't released yet. That's crazy how it does that. This one's cute. Holographic banana cat. That's so cute. Menchi, look. It's a costume. Oats on nails. The scribbles were just put there because Discord thought it was nudes or explicit content. I've never done oats nails. Why? I'm obsessed with oats. Oh, I love how this one, it looks like it's actually growing out. It doesn't know what Troom Troom is. It thinks Troom Troom is a restroom. Oh no. Hollow combo. Our mod's like, what? <laughs> Who me? I'm gonna swatch the next collection like this. What do you think? Simply not logical. Are you telling me that this is my brain? Why is it so empty? This is your brain before Hollow. This is your brain when discovering Hollow. This is your brain after you unlocked all 80,000 Hollow Taco combinations. What happens when you just put Simply Nail Logical? Oh, it knows I do nails, but there's no person. Okay, this confirms it. Simply Nail Logical is not a person. Uh, it's just an entity, it's a set of hands. This hand only has garbage bowl? Oh my God, guys. <laughs> this is what I eat for dinner. Nail streamer? What is this, hug the child? Chat, why? Okay, this was Menchi. Menchi, what happened to you? Ah! <laughs> How do, why? Yo, there is a flaw in the system. Excuse me, excuse me. Linological and Sophia? <laughs> uh, why is that so good? Oh no, Sophia. It actually looks like she's eating lipstick. It's very suitable. Like how I don't have a face. So I kind of think I want to do this cat. I'm just like inspired. Not necessarily draw the cat, but maybe I could do like a silhouette that just has the ear. I'll just put some smoothing base on first. 
I gotta think of colors. Okay, so that's the inspiration. A lot of yellow and green is the backdrop. So this color scheme is looking like it. Wow, simply doing nail art, I know. What did you tune in for? Hey Simply, when can you tell us about the anniversary launch? <laughs> Not yet, but there is one coming. I can tell you that, Sierra. All right, this is our base. So I'm gonna grab my brushes. Got my Hello Taco fan brush. Protective peel to protect around my skin. Okay, so I'm just letting my protective peel dry. Just using this so I don't have to move my nail art mat around because my mouse is right here. If you're you and you don't have to worry about filming with a computer <laughs> right in front of you, <laughs> you would just put nail polish directly on the no mess mat. That's what it's designed for. You just throw some nail polish on and you can peel it right up when it's dry. Okay, computer. I know it took you three minutes, but it's gonna take me three hours to do this nail art. <laughs> so let's take these two and put it on the pinky. See, that vibe kind of fits it. That totally works, see? Hee <laughs> hee. I like it, I like it already. I think I wanna put hollow on top of the dark green. Yeah, 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 green, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiping it on some paper towel. I don't worry about like totally cleaning it out when I'm in the middle of, you know, I'm just gonna dip again, but I'll keep them in the same quadrants. Do the same thing here. <gasps> Whoa. When you dry brush linear hollow, and then on the middle finger, the cat at the top left kind of has a little bit of butterscotch in the background, and then also some banana hacks to give it a bit more yellow. So this is like dry brushing creme on top of hollow, so it's like the opposite. Okay, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Remember that art is subjective. Okay, there's like literally a Menchi here. Menchi, no! I'm thinking this should be like a more subtle green. Okay, let's use Seafoam Home because it's not that different, like a little bit different. It's cooler, but not that much. So maybe with this one, I'll kind of do something a bit different. Go up that way and that way. Which of my six nails is your favorite so far? Now the next step to me looks like drawing a navy blue silhouette. I'll start with my pinky because the pinky matters the least. This is Shady Navy. <laughs> it's upside down for you, but it's right side up for me. It's kind of a cat. Little Miss Granger, hey Christine, what's on your other hand? It's a secret. What were we doing? Were we, we were painting cats? Menchie, pose for me, Menchie. This cat's eyes are gonna be closed because it's just like too small to paint otherwise. It looks like a cat. <laughs> You can actually kind of make out that it's a cat upside down. I think I want to do more of a blue silhouette cat. The one that's on the yellow backdrop in the middle left. Oh no, my nail is not big enough. <laughs> that reminds me of one of the cats there. Who told you I was a nail artist? It wasn't me. This cat is mad it did not get savory salmon dinners. Can I submit this back to the computer and have it evaluate me, imagine? Put these in the Museum of Modern Art. Thank you, Max the dog. I'm thinking about it. Now let's add a little bit more color. We're missing some corals, some pinks, and some little like fluffiness for the hair of the cat. The floor is guava, which I think is like the perfect accent. I notice how some of the ears are kind of this pink color. Kind of want to like dry brush some of this in the body of it. I should have peeled this off because like I clearly don't need it anymore. Could just leave it and continue, but I do find that the more you let it dry and then paint dries on top of it, see? That paint, because that's from before, is gonna get more crackly. So it's actually better to peel off protective peel while the polish that you put on it is still a little bit wet so that you get a cleaner peel. I think I'll use acrylic paint for this. The white is used um, in some of the images as the background of one, but we're not doing that, but it's kind of like the outline of the top left. And then in some of their snouts, you definitely see white. <laughs> it looks like a mustache on this guy. This whole snout is white. I'll paint colors on top of it to give it like a mouth, but it just looks like a Santa Claus mustache. What is this? <laughs> Yo, this one is like the Grinch. <laughs> it looks like a superhero cat. It's like a night hunter cat. Kind of looks like a fox. You think these cats are friends? The only one I don't like is this finger. <laughs> it's probably my bad for just making the base darker. <laughs> it's Xyler. 
It kind of looks like a burglar bear. See behind them, there's like a blue table. Or he's in a puddle of water. What's a burglar bear? I don't know. It just came to mind when I when I created this. The mouths of the cat are so weird. They're like, okay, they're not that smiley. Maybe that's what it is. They're more flat. He looks mad. <laughs> the only thing I think we're missing is some of them are in and of themselves a little more colorful, like in their bodies. If we wanna add like board meeting, like that would bring, bring some brighter blue into their bodies. So that's good there. Close the 18 bottles on my desk. First, let me just do any cleanup. I'm gonna add a nice thick coat of glossy tago. See how like much smoother he looks now? You don't see all the little lines from the painting. But when we put the matte taco on, you'll see kind of the texture a little bit more without feeling the texture, if you know what I mean. Wow. Picasso would be pleased. Yeah, I think so. Who will be pleased? Menchie. I'm gonna show these to Menchie when I'm done. Be like, girl, look what I did for you. These are all your friends. Here it is glossy compared to the pic. <laughs> the vibe is there, right? Like the vibe is similar. The colors are correct, except for this guy. I made that, you know, I made a mistake there. This guy's so cute too. Look at that thumbnail. He's a little hairier, a little more brush strokey than some of them. I think my favorite is the pinky nail or even the pointer. The pointer, like it, that one's only represented by the one cat in that grid, but the mood is, the mood's almost there. We'll do a poll. Which nail is your fave Picasso? Go ahead and vote which nail is your favorite. Or actually, sorry. I'm rephrasing the question. Which nail best matches the image that the AI generated? Did I pass the test? Am I hired by artificial intelligence? You need six to seven options for all your AI fingers. I know, tell that to YouTube who only gives us four poll options, Susan. <laughs> Please give me like at least five. Actually, no, six. Maybe, maybe eight? Maybe 10 options for a poll. All right, let's check the results. 42% said pointer, this one, wow. Ooh. I'm surprised because this was like the least effort and it's also kind of like the least like the other ones, sort of. I mean, it does capture the spirit color wise. I think the pinky turned out the best color wise, but just you can't really see it that well because it's so tiny. Look at Menchi. Girl, what are you doing? That's my child. She's just living her best life. She's voguing. This is just about dry enough to add a matte taco. This one's still shiny, but it's gonna dry down. It takes just like two to three minutes, I'd say, to turn completely matte. Oh, and because it's matte, oh my God, petting the kitties is gonna be so fun. Does anyone else really like touching their nails when they have a matte taco on? Like once it's dry? Why it's so satisfying, <laughs> it feels like soft. All right, everybody. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, guys? AI successfully picked my nail art. It's a little bit cursed. It's a lot of abstract, but the cats make it so cute. That's the thing about this AI stuff. Sometimes you just have this mental roadblock and you're like, I just don't know where to begin. I don't know what to do. And I actually think the AI image generators are such a good idea for people who just have like creative block, which happens to the best of us. If you're just looking for a pathway, even if you take it a different direction than suggested, it's just a place to start. And it's also really entertaining. Yo, this looks so random from far away. Like imagine you're just like gonna shake my hand or something. It's like, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Abstract, modern art, directed by artificial intelligence. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your long weekend or short weekend. I mean, all long weekends are quite short, aren't they? Stay tuned for website related announcements for Hello Taco. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.